Hello everyone, I'm Hank and welcome to Comments PR. It's been a more than a month from the last video. I made a huge update from the previous version of Bear Haptic Glove. Update has been made based on the research question on Bear Haptic Glove I introduced. My research questions are, first, can Bear Haptic Glove provide better sense of presence, uh, engagement, and usability than conventional Bear controller? Second, can haptic feedback increase the sense of presence or engagement or improve the performance of selecting the objects in virtual environments? To answer this question, I have redesigned the gloves again. I will show you what has been changed and I will show you the demo playing launchpad with the beer gloves. First, I used the lip motion controller to track hands and fingers movements. In order to track 6 degree of freedom, I attached the lip motion in front of the headset so that it can track my hands. It has a limited range and hands will not be tracked if they are out of tracked area. However, it has a better tracking ability than previous design and my experiment will not need fast hand tracking area. I also decided not to use force feedback. It is not accurate and not as realistic as I expected. I used small vibration motors to provide the haptic feedback at the fingertips. The small DC vibration motors are run by 3 volt 85 mA. The DC board does not have enough power to provide the power. I used AAA battery to provide 6 volt to the DC board and used transistors to provide the enough voltage and ampere to the motors. Last, I use NRF24L01 modules to make the gloves wireless. One module is connected to PC and work as a base station and transmit the data to both RF modules on each hand. Latency was measured less than 13 milliseconds. Next step will be running a user study with the current design. Thank you for watching and I will come back with a great idea.